to show that acids alkali solution in water conducts electricity materials required hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid alcohol glucose rubber cock iron nails beaker bulb switch battery connecting wires sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide lime water magnesium hydroxide distilled water procedure prepare solutions of hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid alcohol and glucose by dissolving them in 50 ml of distilled water in separate beakers fix two brightly polished nails in a rubber cork and place it in 250 ml beaker connect the nails to a 6 volt battery a bulb and a switch pour hydrochloric acid solution in the beaker and switch on the electric current Notice that the bulb glows brightly on switching on the current. Switch off the circuit. Pour off hydrochloric acid. Wash the beaker and the cork with distilled water and again set up the apparatus. Repeat the experiment for dilute sulfuric acid, alcohol solution and the glucose solution. You observe that the bulb glows brightly in case of hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid solutions. Bulb does not glow in case of alcohol and glucose solutions. From the above observations it is clear that all compounds containing hydrogen as its constituent cannot be acids. Then what makes a substance an acid? Glowing of electric bulb suggests that there is a flow of electric current in acid solutions. Now, the electric current in a solution can be carried by the ions. The cation present in acids is H positive ion. This implies that the acids on dissolving in water produce hydrogen ions H positive aqueous. It is the hydrogen ions H positive aqueous which are responsible for acidic properties. Repeat the same activity with the following soluble bases alkali solutions: sodium hydroxide NaOH, potassium hydroxide KOH, lime water CaOH2 and magnesium hydroxide MgOH2. You observe that bulb glows in each case. Now, glowing of electric bulb suggests that there is flow of electric current in alkaline solutions. As we know that the electric current in a solution can be carried by ions. The common anion present in all alkalis is hydroxyl ion OH negative aqueous. It is the hydroxyl ion OH negative aqueous which are responsible for alkaline properties. 